Welcome to the webinar tonight, you guys. I'm really excited to be here with you tonight, and I'm so excited about about. <laughs> I gotta mute that. Hold on a second. Nice little rookie error there. Okay, so I'm excited to be here tonight, and I'm even more excited about our special guest speaker tonight. Though I'm I'm also the guest speaker on his call. See this how this works. But I'm excited that Steve McDonald's going to be here with us tonight. You guys, for those of you who don't know Steve McDonald, he's the president of Practical Social Media University. And um, if you look him up, you'll see he has an amazing resume of pretty impressive marketing career. But since 2009, he's been helping Beach Buddy coaches build their business and really has created kind of like, you know, definitely had an influential, influential role on the entire culture of Beach Buddy coach community because he's worked with founding coaches, top coaches. Um, and I know when I was a Beach Buddy coach, I was a, a member of his university and learned a lot too. So we're excited to have him here tonight. He is going to show us some new things that you can do on Facebook, which will help you meet new people pretty easily. Now, I'm going to jump in at the end and show you how to take those new relationships and work them and develop them so that you can convert them to coaches and customers. Okay. But a lot of you guys know part of what we Part of what we teach at Teamsy is you need to be meeting new people every day and adding them to your list in Teamsy, right? You got those new ads, that new ad circle on your dashboard. We want you meeting new people. So I'm excited to have Steve here to teach you guys some practical tips on how you can do that, how you can leverage what you're doing on Facebook already to meet new people. So I will stop talking. Steve, why don't you go ahead and take it away and tell me when it's good for me to jump back in. Okay, I'm I, I'm ready. Uh, am I full screen here? Make sure I can, you're not muted, Steve. I'm muted. Uh, I should be. Can you hear me? And tell me when it's. Gotcha. Go. Okay. <laughs> Love the rookie mistakes. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk just what Eric said there. I'm going to talk about new ways. I mean, all new ways that you can get new leads coming into your business. And it's pretty significant, and it's something that you don't need any technology background, you don't need any marketing background, you don't need a huge following on social media, you just need to know what to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a screen because I'm gonna show you what some other coaches have been doing and give you some exam examples really specifically. So let me do this, let me get, uh, here we go. Get this up and running. So the area that I'm gonna be talking about here is inside of Facebook Messenger. And if you haven't heard what's been going on inside of Messenger, well, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO founder of Facebook, has been doing quite a bit. In fact, he knows there's a gold mine for both him and all of us. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but there are now 1.2 billion active users monthly on Facebook Messenger. So when Eric talks about the connections, the conversations that we want to have, and he talks a lot about messaging back and forth on Facebook, this is the place to have conversations these days, right? And what's in, just incredible, a stat, is that the top four messaging apps have actually overtaken the top four social networks and monthly active users. So not only is it where all the conversations are happening, but it's where the volume of opportunity in your business is happening. So we're going to show you exactly how you can take advantage of this. So this is a whole new world of messenger marketing. Now here, out of many things that you can do, is the number one opportunity. Are you ready for this? Ties right into the bye-bye Facebook friend request down there. What you can now do is somebody who literally just comments on your Facebook page's post or the post that you boost out for your group to free and your challenge groups, anybody who comments on those, you can automatically send them a message. And that message goes right to their inbox on Messenger. And we all open our messages on, on our Messenger inbox. It's just amazing, right? Because we get the dings, we see the screen notifications. In fact, uh, coaches just like you, myself, we've been getting 92, 93% open rates of these messages. And as soon as they open that message and they interact with you at all, they become what's called a subscriber on your Facebook page. You can now message them one-on-one -on -one anytime. And it all happened because they just commented on one of your posts and you automatically sent them a message that they started, that automatically starts the conversation that you then carry forward. You log into your Team Z dashboard. So I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. This is literally from just this last week, last Friday, 
Uh, this is Coach Raquel. She's a member of our university. She's I got 21 new subscribers. These are people she's in one-on-one -on -one conversations with automatically because they responded to her automatic message when they commented on her post. So I got 21 new subscribers yesterday just from posting a question about coping skills. Now, to be perfectly fair, she spent $4.84 on that, but got 21 different conversations. So what happens here is, when it, and I'm gonna talk about this as one of the must-haves in your business. She is a mother of an autistic child, and she reaches out to other women who are moms of autistic children. Right? So it's a very, very important, it's a, it's a marketing fundamental. I'm gonna go into that in a little bit, but it's part of the background here, the success equation. Now, I went back and forth with her on Facebook, and I said, it's just amazing, right? She said, I paused it after an hour because they were coming in faster than I expected. And she wanted to be making changes to that automatic message that she had sent out. And so I love that I can do that. And these conversations just started swirling around her. She decided to do this on last Friday morning and turned the whole thing off three hours later, actually, on Friday morning because she was getting too many leads. So she said, yeah, before on my Facebook page, which had 1,600 likes, it was crickets, anything that I posted. So what we're talking about here are those fun, what I call lead booster posts, where you just have people answer really simple questions that they just can do really simple answers on. Okay, and I'm gonna show you an example or two as we go through this. I had one the other day come up on my newsfeed and somebody had posted in there, what's a movie you've seen five times and probably plan to see again? 185 comments on there. Now, if you boost the post out to people that are perfect for you and your group, right, they're your customer avatar, they're just like you, then all of a sudden your chances skyrocket of them commenting, and especially if you talk about, like Raquel did, coping skills, from one autistic mom to another autistic mom, these things get pretty easy. So she said, yes, from the GIF, and the GIF is just when you make a comment, right, you can start typing, you can put in a, uh, an image, and there's a little button that says GIF. And what you do is you just say, click GIF, type in the one word, when you think about coping with your autistic child, whatever comes up, post that GIF. Boom, 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 boom. She's in 21 conversations automatically. So here's Mary Van Doren. She's a coach, very successful coach. I got 17 new subscribers yesterday from my post, no boost. I used a gift to show me how you feel about Friday. Something very, very simple, right? So these things are simple, easy things to do. They're not hard, but they get leads and conversations started automatically where you don't need any Facebook friend requests after that. Here's another coach, Melissa. I created my first post, boosted it, and I also attached the message bot. The message bot is just a little bit of technology. Facebook calls it a chat bot. There's nothing scary about it. There's third-party tools that are very easy to use that you create this chat bot, which is just what automatically sends the message and allows you to start that conversation. That's really it. And I said, well, did you do this all this morning? She said, yes, I did. I put that in there to illustrate how easy this stuff is. So let me take Mary, and here's a, uh, Coach Mark. I did a webinar about a week and a half ago with Coach Mark. They each get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of leads every single month. I'm going to go over three additional lead booster ideas right before I tee it over to Eric. But what I want you to take away from this is that it's easy to do. The thing that they did, one of the must-have action steps is they brought focus to their business. They aren't trying to be all things to all people. Mary's a diabetic woman. She reaches out to other diabetic women. Coach Mark, he's a police officer. He reaches out to other police officers. And when you do that online across U.S., Canada, and now United Kingdom, we are talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are in a perfect slice of the market for you. You are never going to run out of people to talk to. And when you connect to people that are just like you, you know what happens? Yeah, they look at you and they say, hey, you get my crazy life. You understand it, right? You're an insider. And we're going to show you a couple of tricks on how you can accentuate that. But you basically build trust and credibility like you had with your war market through a Facebook ad. It's just incredible. 
So I don't want you just to take it from Eric or me. Here's Inc. Magazine, how to narrow your target market. Companies that try to be all things to all customers are sure to fail. Here's Wikipedia. If you just go to Google, type in Wikipedia target market, a well-defined target market is the first element to a marketing strategy. This is Marketing 101 Fundamentals. I could show you 50 slides that talk about how you can't be everything to everybody. Because if you ever heard of like attraction marketing, how do you attract everybody equally well to you? You can't. But you can be very special and unique and attract people who are just like you that look at you with trust and credibility from the start. Now, this is Coach Amanda Howland. She's a music teacher, reaches out to other music teachers. This is one of her new team members that she brought in that was messaging her on Messenger. And they said, or this woman said, I think the part that really drew me in was that you're a music teacher also. Now, here's the second must have that I want you to implement your business immediately. I want you to start getting scale in your business. I want you to stop doing things manually one-on-one -on -one, and do more things where you're doing one-to-many. Okay, so you get scale by doing things more efficiently. Team Z is a great example of that. You do more things with scale because you're doing it one-to-many. So let me give you an example. Here's, uh, I said there was three other amazing lead booster ideas. So this is one where you get much more efficiency when you're prospecting. Because A, we show you in the university how to prospect online from the comfort of your own home when you have time to do it and you know exactly who you're prospecting. So you can pinpoint those people and then when you reach out to them and they're just like you and you're just like them, the ability or the desire for them to actually engage back, not only initially, but through the whole conversation, the whole follow-up process, all the way through customer challenger, right down through a team member on your team, is so much easier. So as they look at you with that trust and that credibility. So you're using the online tools to find people. In fact, we show you how to make 10 social media connections in 15 minutes a day with the perfect customer for you. So that's an amazing way to leads get boosted, you know, lead boosters in your business. And this is what Coach Shannon said. Can I just say that this is crazy? What an abundance of possibilities and endless people there are to connect with through the different social media platforms. If anyone dares say they don't have anyone to talk to, well, you might just want to find a different excuse for why you're not succeeding. Just have your blog and your profile set so that people know what you're about. If you were at Summit this year, there was a big poster, electronic poster that said, know who you are and know who you serve. That's exactly what we're talking about here. Now, the second one is what you've seen a lot of coaches do, but you probably haven't known how to do it really well. And that's low cost boosted ads for your free and challenge groups. Now, Mark, he is absolutely amazing at this. I told you earlier, right, that he, I did a webinar with him just a little bit ago. This was the title, reach out to 80,000 new prospects in a single week. Well, how does he do that? He does low cost ads out to other police officers, other what he calls first time responders. And Coach Mark, he gets SE 20 every month. He's actually been an SE uh, all-star legend for years. And on this webinar, I asked him, I said, Mark, I said, when was the last time you actually manually reached out and initiated a relationship? And he paused and I'm like, um, I wonder if we lost audio. <laughs> and he said, you know what, Steve? It's been years. All of these people come to him. And then he gets them into the free groups and then into the challenge groups. But he's working scale in his business because as a full-time police officer, he has only two hours a day that he devotes to his business. And he earns $50,000 a year doing that. But he can create relationships inside of a group where he gets 250 to 300 people in his free groups every single month. No way could he do that if he was doing it manually one-on-one. -on -one. Now here's Mary. This is the bottom of her challenge group ad. And what I want you to see over here is to see where it says 79 comments, 67 shares, 612 engagements up here. Well, this is how she uses this chat bot in her business because this challenge group has two call to actions, this boosted post. Click here and join the group, right? Or comment interested for more information below. 
So every one of these comments, and she actually got up to 99 comments, 99 shares, and over 800 engagements. Every single one of those 99 comments, guess what? Got an automatic message and had the chance to initiate a one-on-one -on -one conversation. She had way over half of those into a one-on-one -on -one conversation, no Facebook friend request needed, and she could message them anytime that she wanted. She can actually send out a broadcast to all of them at the same time too. So pretty darn good stuff. Here's the third must-have action step that I want you to have that's foundational to kind of all the ideas that we're gonna be talking about here tonight. And it's what Harvard calls the new science of customer emotions. Now, this is what they say. Most companies fail to align themselves with the emotions that drive their customers' most profitable behaviors. Well, what are your most profitable behaviors, right? Getting new customers and getting team members, right? So what are the emotional triggers that we can identify for you? And they're much harder to do when you're trying to be everything to everybody or even close to it. But if you're reaching out to other police officers or other diabetic women or other moms of, of autistic children or music teachers, or we help you get into a niche that's perfect for you. It is so much easier to identify these. And this is important stuff. This is what Nielsen, the TV ratings people, also they're a, a very well-respected worldwide research company. They said, we're ruled by our emotions and so are the ads we watch. It's no secret that emotions are central to advertising. They're at the heart of the relationship we have with brands. They drive our non-conscious decisions and play a major role in our conscious decisions too. This is important stuff. If you don't understand this, then you're gonna miss the mark because the message that you put out, you could get everything else right. But if your boosted post and that message isn't right, and I'm gonna show you here, here's one way to get it right. I'm going to show you kind of tactically how we take this idea of, okay, Steve, emotional triggers sounds really good, but how do we actually put that into practice? Well, for Mary, I asked her, I said, Mary, with your diabetic audience, diabetic women, what's your largest unmet emotional need of your niche? And she said, oh, without a doubt, she said, even our own families, they just don't understand us. Our own families. And so explain to me a little bit. She said, well, so I'm diabetic. My husband's not diabetic. My kids aren't diabetic. Right? So they can't possibly understand what it's like to be a diabetic woman from the time I wake up in the morning thinking about what am I going to wear, what am I going to eat, what am I going to make for my family. It affects my life is filtered through the lens of being a diabetic woman. Right? Now, nobody in my family can understand that, even though they're the closest relationships I have in my life. But my community, they get it. So look what she did. This is the top of her challenge group boosted post. We saw the bottom of it a few slides ago. Hey, sugar mamas, let's talk. The reality of diabetes is it's overwhelming having to manage blood sugars while handling day-to-day -day responsibilities, taking care of our families and working every day. The people closest to us often don't understand what we go through to manage our numbers and A1Cs. The people closest don't often understand. If you put something in your boosted post that only a true insider would know, where everybody is that's looking at that, and she's boosting this out in front of a, you know a, a day at a time, tens of thousands of other diabetic women. She's getting scale in her business because she's reaching out to probably on any given week when she does her challenge groups, she's probably reaching over a hundred thousand diabetic women. Now that's bringing scale to your business, and she's doing it in a way that proves to them and earns her trust and credibility with them that she gets it. Right? Do you see how important this stuff is? Now, here's an example of when I say low cost. So here's Coach Sammy Scout, and she's a woman that suffers from PCOS and reaches out to other women that suffer from PCOS. She spent $27.95 on a boosted post for a free clean eating group and got 96 people into it in a day and a half. Now, we went back and forth, and I said, well, how was engagement in that group? Because right? I know a lot of you have had groups, have been part of groups that have kind of flopped, right? Because there hasn't been a lot of engagement. Which is, it's night and day. It's almost funny. And I'm more excited about it. I definitely lost my passion with a lot of groups that flopped. And everyone is so supportive of one another because everyone gets what everyone else is going through. Now, here's another huge benefit of focusing on a customer niche, hundreds and hundreds of thousands strong, right? And getting to, I want to read this to you. 
And how do you understand? You can see, uh, you're gonna see the emotional triggers in here all over the place. This was an unboosted post on a brand new Facebook page that Coach Linda Hopkins, who's a daycare provider, reaches out to other daycare providers did. She got 780 likes, 96 comments, 232 shares. No boosts, brand new page. Let me read this to you. Here's to you, daycare providers, to you who kisses boo-boos and wipes tears, who cleans butts with flair and catches puke with class, who gives comfort to scared little hearts and drinks pretend tea when it's given to you, who wipes noses a million times in one day and reads the same story over and over again, who takes criticism but keeps smiling, even though you're hurt and works long hours even though you're tired. Here's to you, daycare providers, who give of yourselves every day and understand you are here to love, provide, and protect. My goodness. Do you see the power of having a group that's just like you that you can reach out to? How you can touch and pull on those heartstrings? How you can get reactions like that? And here's a much simpler one. Has your daycare ever felt like a war zone? Mine has. This is daycare. I just love that, right? We, as we drop our kids off, don't want to think of daycare as a war zone. But I guarantee, if you're a daycare provider, that speaks directly to you. And look at the engagement numbers there. Eric's smiling. He's got a young kid. I don't think you do <laughs> daycare, but you get it, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to Mary, and here's the last must-have that I'm going to give you uh, in the presentation here tonight. You need to have a blog. You need to have a home base online. You need to have a place that you refer every single lead. You establish and reinforce that trust and credibility. You put up answers to all those tough objections, right? The roadblocks you get in the business for, from challengers, people joining your team, and you, you refer people there all the time. So I developed years ago with founding coach Tracy Morrow, a blogging service specifically for Beachbody because she recognized that all of her coaches, they had to have a blog. What business doesn't have a blog that represents them these days, right? That you can really customize and get up super easy. So you just go to GoDaddy, register a domain, point it over to us, and a blog with 50 plus pages of Beachbody content comes up. Now, what, what Tracy said, she said, you know, I had coaches who were spending thousands of dollars trying to develop a site with a developer, and it didn't turn out the way they wanted to. They didn't have access the way they wanted to in there. And it cost them a whole bunch. In fact, uh, Amanda Hellman, who I just talked about earlier, the music teacher, she just switched over to our blogging service because she was tired of not being able to do things on her own blog. Or coaches went the totally low cost way, got a, a site up, it's a big blank screen, and they never knew what to do with it. It was too big of a job. So literally, a site comes up. No technical skills or background are needed. Mary here is the biggest technophobe ever. But I'm going to show you the home page of Mary's site. And you can see here it kind of moves back. It's really professional. She put the buttons together, the colors, the links. Here's five focus areas on her home page for her niche. Kind of an about us section. Here's simple and easy recipes for her diabetic audience. You scroll down. These are testimonials of people that she's worked with. Here's her latest blog post. She writes one blog post a week, spends about 20 minutes at it. Because we're not recommending you be a big blogger, all of a sudden doing huge articles. That Coach Mark said, he says, I don't blog anymore, Steve. I've got all the articles I want up there that are all the referrals that when I'm working with the leads and the follow-up and the closing process, the resources that I need on my blog, they're right there. He said, I'm almost ashamed to say this, but I don't do that anymore. Right? It's there. It works for me. He's on our blogging service as well. So you get those 50 pages, and we put up all the new stuff. So, you know, we just put up Shift Shop. We just put up Daily Sunshine. We just updated some updates on the all-demand page. So you don't have to worry about that. You worry about working your business. There's even a team area. There's $1,000 in extras that we have developer rights to, tools that are super easy to use. No technical backgrounds needed. If you can literally upload a picture and save it, if you can type into a field and save it, you can work your blog. You're in total control. And we help you with anything about the blog, everything. So everything I'm talking about here, it's not theory. I've worked with over 8,000 coaches. So everything that you've heard here has been refined and tested by coaches before you. So I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about how we work with coaches. And then I'm going to turn it over to uh, uh, Eric, but I have one more big lead booster that I want to talk to you about first, too. So we have in the university fast track steps. We divvy everything up into small bite-sized chunks, and you go through it step one, step two, step three, and you can ask us a question at any time. 
but I put together a pretty impressive pack of bonuses that I want to take you through really quickly, show you how to get involved, and then tee it up to, t to Eric here. We're going to give you, if you become a member of the university tonight, a swipe and use a copy and use file. And it's the secrets to what your niche wants and what you need to include in a perfect profile. Because when you're online meeting people, that is the first way that they can find out about you. Now, the challenge group, you saw the top and the bottom of Mary's uh, challenge group ad. She follows to a T, as do hundreds of other coaches, the seven-part Facebook ad template that we have. So we take the guessing out of it, you fill it in, you customize it for your challenge group, your free groups, and your niche. Now, Amanda, she has an amazing six-stage closing process with scripts for every single part of this. And what she does is, it's really great, in the second stage, she has 15 different interview questions that literally have leads closing themselves. She said, as soon as they start asking these questions or answering these questions and how they answer, they do close themselves. And she closes one out of every three challenger leads. Phenomenal. And you should be keeping track of all of this in Teams. We also give you the Facebook Never Ending Leads Bootcamp. We just completed it. Five webinars, advanced Facebook targeting, Facebook Live secrets, more about Facebook Messenger marketing, increasing Facebook ad performance, and then Bootcamp Finale. Now, this is what coaches say about the boot camps. We've been doing these with, with coaches for years. It's a phenomenal resource that we're going to give to you for free. Now, you also get into a group with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other coaches that are all there supporting each other. And then here's kind of the coup de grace. I make a pretty special offer. I've been working with coaches for, tw for uh, since 2009, over 8,000. I've been in marketing since, well, 23 years ago. <laughs> I was the CMO of a Hollywood startup. I was a director of client service at a top 10 interactive agency working with Nike and v Miller Brewing and Visa. What I do is I make you an offer. And I say, look, I will take a look at what you're doing. You know, the targets you're selecting, the brand you're creating, those emotional triggers, the actual ads, the audiences. I'll look at it and I will make recommendations based on the other 8,000 coaches I've worked with. I know what works and what doesn't, and I know the mistakes that are commonly made. So if you take advantage tonight of a university membership, I'm going to give you a bonus too. How to discover your perfect customer, a step-by-step -step avatar guide. All of this comes down to that marketing 101 principle. You've got to focus on an extremely large number of people, but a customer group, an avatar group that's just like you. So there's two wildly successful choices to get involved in the university tonight. There's the Kickstart Pack and the Crush It Pack. Now in the Kickstart Pack, you get one free month at the university. It's $26.99 a month thereafter access into the private Facebook group, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other coaches, all coaches in there, and then the Social Media Prospecting Made Easy series, where we show you how to prospect with uh, all the top social networks. We teach you how, like I said before, to make 10 social media connections in 15 minutes a day. $1,000, $1,100 in value for $47 tonight. Now, the Crush It Pack has everything that the Kickstart Pack has, plus blue. The one free month of the blogging service. That was a must have, right? Facebook never ending leads bootcamp, the personal support and recommendations, the six stage closing scripts and interview questions, the seven part Facebook ad template, and the swipe and use perfect profile file. $4,100 in value for $147. So go to practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash today and you can take a look at the Kickstart and the Crush It Pack again. That's practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash today. All right. Now, here's the last thing before I turn it over to Eric. I promised three more. This is the fourth of these amazing lead booster ideas. This one you're going to love. There are 15 star diamonds that are using this idea to drive all lead generation in their business. Are you ready? We teach you how to do a Facebook like campaign and we teach you how to get likes under 30 cents each. Now, every time somebody likes, it becomes a fan of your page. We have you up to about 10 a day send out a Facebook friend request to them. Now, because you targeted them, they're people in your customer avatar, and they liked your page, they're much more likely to accept your friend request too. And as soon as they do that, A, you've picked them by hand, and they've engaged with you twice already. You have one-on-one -on -one communication with them. You can also 
put them onto a list on your personal profile on Facebook, and you can filter the whole news feed by that list. So you can start interacting with them with what they're doing and what they're saying online. It is a beautiful lead booster strategy. It works incredibly well, and then you can follow up with all those people in Teamsy, which is the perfect segue, Eric, I think, over to you. All to say here, guys, is these are wild prices. I have not offered these prices for months. These prices have been almost double this. So for tonight, because we're teaming up here with Team Z and Eric, I'm going to do the Kickstart pack for 47 and the Crush It pack for 147. Just go to practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash today. All right. I'll let you take over from here, Eric, and then we'll do a live Q&A at the end, everybody. Awesome. Thank you very much, Steve. Let me get, go ahead and, uh, if you want to go ahead and stop sharing. Okay. I mean, your screen. Stop sharing. There you go. Awesome. Okay. So really some great content there. I'm taking notes too, you guys. Um, you know, it's important if you guys aren't, if you guys aren't focusing on your business and your brand and finding your niche and finding your customer avatar, if these are new concepts to you, Hopefully this has gotten you really excited to explore that. And here's the thing, those of you guys who, who know me, know my background is as a business consultant. And my heart for you is that you think of, you start treating your business like a business owner. This isn't a hobby, this isn't a little thing that you're doing, you're actually building a business. You need to learn the fundamentals of marketing. Now, so there's some great tips there. And um, like I told you, I was a member of Steve's University when I was a Beachbody coach. I found it really useful for me to identify my niche and my marketplace. Now, let's talk to you a little bit about how we take the momentum that you're generating doing some of these techniques. How would you take those into Teamsy and really track them? Because here's what I want you guys to understand. If you're doing these things and you're meeting people and you're generating leads and you're tracking your business on a pad of paper or a spreadsheet, it's like trying to build an empire with an abacus. Okay, and were empires built with abacuses? Yes, but come on, let's get, we're, we are in the 21st century. It is time to get efficient and leveraged. And here's what I'm gonna tell you guys right now. If you're using Teamsy, you can do all of the lead generation activities, which will automatically track, your, track it in 30 minutes a day. Okay, so let me just jump in here really quick, you guys. I'm gonna share my screen and give you a couple points. Um, the first thing we're going to do, guys, when you get these people, like you let's just use the example of the ad, you know, we had the great ad and we're getting all these engagements and they're autom we're automatically getting them um, subscribed to our messenger. Your first step is to take those people and add them to Teamsy. Pretty simple, right? You're going to take those people and add them to Teamsy. I know you don't know them yet and you don't have a relationship with them yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because your second step kind of goes with the first one, which is we're going to tag them. We are going to tag them so that we know exactly where they came from and we can work that list separately from our dashboard. Okay, so let me just show you real quick, jump into Teamsy. I laughed at those daycare comments because my ha we have four kids and I can actually hear the mayhem going on outside the room right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay, so here's my dashboard in Teamsy. So what we're gonna do guys is, as we're getting these new leads coming in, we're gonna add them. And I clicked that add contact button at the top. It's super easy to do. We're just gonna add them in here, right? Let me see if I can spell. Now, I'm just gonna add in, that's a prospect. Boom, click add. That takes me right to his record. Now what I'm gonna do right here is where it says tags, I'm gonna go ahead and tag it, okay? So I've got a tag called Facebook Ad 817. So this is my August Facebook ad group. Now, check this out. Everybody that I meet through my Facebook ads in the month of August, I'm gonna to add to this group by adding this tag. Okay, now if you look over here on the left side of the team page, you'll see on my tags, there's that tag. And if I click that, it gives me the whole list of people, all the leads that I've got received so far this month on the Facebook. Um, Facebook ads. Okay, so this is a separate list from my dashboard, right? My dashboard is where I'm working my prospects, my customers, my coaches, and my follow-ups list. Those are my relationships that I'm constantly nurturing. But on my team page, I can go work this list separately for a while. Now, what am I going to do with this list separately? So guys, what we did was, was just to kind of review, we added them to our list, we tagged them, and now what we want to do, the third step, is we're gonna connect with them. We're gonna start the conversation. 
We're gonna connect with them and start the conversation. It's about building relationships. Now, I want you guys to really get this. Some of you guys were probably looking at what Steve was doing and going, wow, that's cool. I mean, she did an, an ad about her daycare and she got a bunch of likes and she's getting people having conversation with her. What the heck does that have to do with Beachbody? How are those good leads? Anybody thinking that? And here's what I want you guys to understand is you just got to change that. I love Zig Ziglar used to say this. You got to change your stinking thinking. Don't think about people as beach body leads. They're people. And your goal is to build a relationship with them. Your goal is to build a relationship with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the conversation. You're going to message them on Facebook. You're going to start a conversation. You're going to use your training. You're going to form. You're going to ask questions. You're going to just going to get to know them a little bit. Okay. And here's what we do as we connect with them and have a conversation with them. We're going to measure the Mo. Step four. Measure the Mo. Mo stands for motivation. Measure the Mo. How motivated is this person? Is this a short term, mid term, or long term prospect? Is this a short term, mid term, or long term prospect? Now, I want you guys to really kind of focus in on what I just said because our industry is so focused on the go for no mentality, the concept that like somebody's either interested or they're not. And if they're a no, I throw them behind, I throw them out like a dead body out of my business, out of my life. That's crazy. You guys, how many people have you met that were like, Oh yeah, thank you for showing me this business opportunity. Sign me up right now. Day one, let's go. How many people have you actually met like that? Were you like that? Did you sign up on day one? No way. Probably not, right? Everybody's going to be short-term, mid-term, or long-term prospect. You can't go for no. You need to be excited about collecting new people. You're collecting new relationships. Team is going to help you develop those relationships over time. So what we're going to do is measure the motivation. We're going to talk to them, find out if they're interested in learning more. Are they interested in learning more about some of the products, some of the programs, a new free group, a challenge group? Do they want to learn more about the business opportunity? As you're having a conversation, you're going to measure their motivation. Does that make sense? So then there's going to be two things that can happen. And they're both good things, by the way. Two things that can happen. One is they've got positive mo. Positive mo. They're excited. They're motivated to learn more. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a follow-up. We're going to set a follow-up. Hold on. Let me actually show you how to do this real quick so you're with me. So I'm working this list and I'm connecting with people. Steve will be my example. So I'm going to go to Steve and I'm going to set a follow-up. Now, Steve is, I'm connecting with him and he's interested in learning more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put over here, follow up tomorrow. Let's say I'm going to send him some information and follow up tomorrow. Now, what I've done is I've set a follow-up. So what that does is it actually moves Steve now onto my dashboard. He's now on my list of people I'm actively following up with. Now, those of you guys who've seen my trainings know that I love to teach you guys how to follow up like a pro. And all of those follow-ups, by the way, those scripts for follow-ups are right in here. In Teams, there's, there's 10 of them because I want you to follow up 10 times, right? So we've got our follow-up scripts that you can copy all the way down, okay? So that you can follow up like a pro because it takes seven to 10 follow-ups to convert somebody, just so you guys know, okay? All right, so... The first thing that we do is set a follow-up if the motivation is positive. Now, what happens if we're talking to somebody and they're like, yeah, it's kind of nice chatting with you, but, you know, see ya. Or, you know, you get the thumbs up thing or whatever. There's somebody that are, that are not motivated right now to learn more about the business. Easy, guys. If you get a negative mo or a low motivation, we're going to put them in our Teamsy flow. Negative mo, put them into Teamsy flow. You remember that because it's a rhyme, right? Negative mo, put them into Team Z flow. What we're going to do is we are going to let, after we've messaged them a couple times and we just determine that they're not that motivated right now, we'll just put them into our Team Z flow. Team Z will bring them up every, every few months and you'll continue to connect because over time you build a relationship. Are you with me? Now, what's cool about this is that person won't fall through the cracks because you're in touch with them every few months and literally spending three seconds on them every few months to nurture that relationship. You'd be amazed how many of those relationships develop as people watch you. Every time you message them and connect with them, they're going back to your Facebook page. They're re-engaging with your process and what you're doing. And they're getting to know you too. So if you've got a negative mode, we're gonna put them into the Teamsy flow. Let me just kind of show you real quick how we'll do that. So what I would do is 
as I'm working my list, I'm back on my team page, I'm working this August list of people that I'm adding and I'm going through and like, let's say I'm talking to Sheila, it's great, we're having a conversation, I've logged all those and it's like, okay, she's not that motivated or um, I think maybe in two months I'll be great, I'll make her a four star and I'll let her go. And after I've worked this list for the month and I've connected with everybody, I've either set them to a follow-up, so they're on my follow-ups list, or I've just ranked them and let them go. And then what happens is, after this, I don't need to go back to this list. Everybody will be cycling through on my dashboard. Those prospects will be coming up based on their rank. They'll be coming up every couple of months, which is great. And I'll stay in touch with them. I'll build the relationship over time. And everybody that expressed interest is on my follow-ups list, and I'm going to be connecting with them every few days. Does that make sense? It's so easy, you guys. You need something like this so that you can take these new leads and you can manage them efficiently and effectively. Here's another thing I want you guys to know is you gotta be consistent. If you want somebody to trust you, you gotta be consistent. You need a system, right? You need a way that you can stay in touch with them, know when to contact them, know what you can say, make sure people aren't falling through the cracks. But if you want to be taken seriously, you got to be consistent. And when you stay in touch with somebody consistently, it's really dang impressive. To be honest with you. No, most people don't do it. It's so impressive when you're there every couple of months. Hey, how's it going? Or I haven't checked in with you in a while. Or what's going on with you? Or how's, you know, reference the conversation you had in the past. When you are consistent, think about it. Think about it in your business, in your Beachbody business. Why, why do people find you um, inspiring? I'm sure people tell you that you're inspiring. Why? It's because they see you being consistent, doing your workouts, drinking your shakes, working on your nutrition, things like that. The same thing is true with relationships. You got to stay in contact with people consistently. Okay. So I know I went through a lot of screens quickly. We're going to do a Q and a in a minute and you guys can ask us anything. I know we've got a lot of Teams users on here already. Um, and I know that we've got people who who don't really know what Teamsy is yet. So I am gonna give you guys some action steps though. If you're not already using Teamsy, you need to go to teamsy.com and get your 30 day free trial. I'm sure you've heard of Teamsy by now if you're not using it. It's built for Beachbody. This is, we built it for you guys and it's free for 30 days. Go use it for 30 days for free and you'll fall in love and then you can continue on with us, okay? Now here's a couple of things I want you to do to get the most out of it. And for you guys who are already using Teamsy, these second two action steps are for you too. Get a 30-day success partner to do a trial with you. If you're already using Team Fleet, you just get a 30-day success partner with you because it's time for you to blitz your business. It's time for you to go for it for 30 days and get some momentum going, especially now. Some of you guys snoozed a little through July. I was at Summit, I talked to you, I know that's the case. It's time to get it going. So get a 30-day success partner to do it with you. Say, hey, let's do Team Fleet 30 days together, hold each other accountable. What I want you guys to do is take a screen grab of your completed action steps in Teamsy every single day and message it to each other. Every single day. People go, well, what about Saturday? Do you want me to do it on Saturday too? I don't know, I would. It's 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes. By the way, I'll show you guys in a second, which is pretty cool. Well, let me finish this. Give me your action steps and I'll show you. Okay. Finally, I want to give you a five-day challenge, right? Because some of you guys need like the three-day refresh before you can do the ultimate reset, right? So five-day challenge is this. For five straight days, I want you to connect with at least 20 people a day. That's 100 people in five days. At least 20 a day, I want you to connect with. They could be people that you already know. They could be coaches on your team. They could be current customers. I just want you to connect. I just want you to connect with them. Send them a Facebook message. Check in on them. See how they're doing. Hold each other accountable to do that 20 day, that five day challenge. Guys, the reason why I do this five days in a row is because, let's be honest, you're probably not gonna do it five days in a row. If you do this five days in a row, you'll be hooked because the momentum that you generate will be huge. Okay, so make sure that you guys do these, take, the, take these challenges and do this action step. I just wanna show you one thing real quick before we do Q and A, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna share one more thing. Look at this, guys. Do you guys know that there's a mobile website? Look, I'm on my iPhone right now, going to Teamsy. And I can do everything on my phone. So, you know, if you, if you don't have time to sit in front of your computer and connect with people, my list is right here. I wanna connect with Sheila, great, she's right here, okay? 
I can toggle over to Facebook message, send her a message. If I don't know what to say, I can open my scripts. I can go right into them right here. Okay. I can find a script, select it, copy that script to the dashboard. I mean, to my clipboard and I can go paste it in messenger. Boom. Send it to her. It only takes a second. You guys, everything is logged as you go. You don't have to go back and track. Okay. So there's no excuse. You can do this so quickly and efficiently. Also, as people are connecting with you on Facebook and you're somewhere else, you're waiting uh, in line at kindergarten to pick up your kids. You know, uh, you, I know you guys know how long you have to sit in that traffic and you get somebody, you can add them right here, right on your phone. You add them right to your list. You can tag them right into that group. You can start connecting with them. It's all right there at your fingertips. Um, you just go on your, you just go to Teamsy in Safari or Chrome on your phone and you're there and you just say, save it to your dashboard like I have. Okay. I'll stop talking now too. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning is if you have questions down at the bottom, there's a little Q and A button. Go ahead and start loading your questions in there so that we can answer them for you. I know, Steve, I think there's a couple questions for you already and possibly even in the chat. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, there's a, a question in the Q and A um, from Natalie. Um, and Natalie, you were asking about what do you mean ads? So, uh, there's a number of different ways that you can get out in front of people on Facebook. And all it means is every single way that we're going to talk about is just a way to get you seen in the news feeds, a story that comes through as you're kind of scrolling thumb and thumb through it. You'll see one that says sponsored. Okay. That's an ad that somebody's paid to get that out into the news feeds. So when we talk about a boosted post or an ad and there a boosted post is just one kind of ad. Um, but there are other kinds of ads uh, that you can do. But the ones that we are seeing so much success with, especially because you want to promote commenting, because when people comment, then you can send them that automatic message and automatically start that one-on-one -on -one conversation, get them into Teams. So the bottom line here is all the successes I've shown here is because people were just putting a post up on their Facebook page, and ever you do that, you ever seen that blue boost post button with the white boost post letters? You're just clicking on that. That's what they're doing. So when Mary does her boosted post, and I can refer that sometimes as an ad, that's what she's doing. Right, so uh, if, that, uh, if there's any other questions on that, just go ahead and post right back here and we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Let's see who else is on. You got a few more questions. They're all for you right now, Steve. Okay. What if you don't have a like page or a business page? No problem. Remember when I read the, you know, the post uh, from Linda Hopkins, the daycare provider that was up on a page that was there literally for two weeks. So here's what's great about like doing boosted posts. Okay. It doesn't show how many likes are on your page. All they see is this post. And because you understand your niche better than anybody else, because you have those emotional triggers in there, you followed the Facebook ad template, right? All they see is there's this really great page that gets them, that's making them an, and just an awesome offer to get into their free or challenge groups. So you could literally start today. If you created a personal profile on Facebook, it's just as easy to create a page. And just like you put a cover photo up on your personal profile, you put a cover photo up on your Facebook page. And we take you through the university how to pick audiences and do a few things that you've got to do to know who you're targeting and how to get a low cost ad out to them. Or like that last lead booster idea we talked about where you actually prospect with fans, people are becoming fans of your page. So uh, hopefully that, that explains that. Uh, don't be overwhelmed by that. I guarantee you, we can, we can take you through that process. Uh, would you please explain the automatic messages sent to people who comment on your post? How is this set up? Thank you. So that's the, Facebook has basically created what they call a development platform. All it means now is, I mean, guys, there's really cool stuff. You can book hotel rooms inside of your Facebook Messenger. You can buy or sell t-shirts inside of Messenger. So I want you to think about Messenger not just as the inbox outbox, right? But I want you to think about it more like, a, like what you could do on a web page, right? All the interaction and functionality and videos and buttons and links and things you could put in there. So 
what happens here is there's third party tools and we recommend one, it's called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T. And we train you how to use it because um, it was kind of developed by developers and their training is a little bit tough to follow sometimes, but it's a super easy tool to use. And you just create a message that you want to attach to a certain post that goes out when somebody comments to it right into the inbox. It's no more difficult than that. Now, there's a lot that you can do because you can input videos and you can put tags like Eric was showing in Teamsy so that new subscribers come in tagged in a certain way. The bottom line here is you want to, the perfect point when somebody comments on a Facebook post that you put out, when's the perfect time to create the conversation with them? When they're doing it, right? Well, what if they do it at 1030 at night and you're not, you don't happen to be on Facebook right then? Well, that's why automatically starting the conversation that then you can carry on. You see the beauty in that? So hopefully that explains that a little bit. Uh, is practical social media only for Beachbody coaches? It was for years. And we are primarily uh, uh, servicing Beachbody coaches. We do, we have people all over the industry, but uh, our heart has always been, our passion has always been. Tracy Morrow helped me launch the whole business into Beachbody. Uh, I've been working with Beachbody literally since 2000, I think 10, when uh, Beachbody Corporate hired me to write social media training programs. And then I met Tracy Morrow through that process. Uh, can you get a kickstart and upgrade later? Yes. You can always upgrade later. Uh, a boosted post is the same as an ad, using the same type of targeting as an ad. Yes, it's just, a boosted post is just a different kind of ad. Facebook has different objectives. A boosted post, the objective is, I wanna get more engagement. Another ad might be, I want people to sign up for something. So they might, I call that a conversion ad. Or I want people to watch my video. So there's a video views ad. So there's different types of ads for what you want to have happen as a result of people seeing. All right. I'm just gonna look in the Zoom real quick, but just a couple of things on some of the things that, that Steve is saying. And I'll just tell you guys, you know, we built Teamsy. Teamsy's now been, we're almost a 30,000 Beachbody coaches have used Teamsy and we did all through Facebook ads. And we, we actually, cause you can target who you want to see, you know, the solution that you have. Obviously we created a solution for you guys. So we targeted you. But we had we literally launched with we had no likes and no posts on our page. It just had a nice picture that said Teamsy, and we started running ads to you guys. So, don't like Steve said, don't be don't be um, overwhelmed by the thought of of creating a page and filling it with content. You can do that organically as you go, but you can start posting and targeting people now for for, for very very little expenditure. Okay, let me just look real quick. Um, this one looks like it's for you, a non-boosted post. How do you get so much reaction for people that are not your friends? So uh, a non-boosted post, that's gonna work when you do have a community of people who are like you that are already attracted around your page, right? That you're engaging with them. So obviously if you did a non-boosted post, you know, on a brand new uh, Facebook page, it'd be harder. But Linda, because Linda Hopkins was an example of that. You know, what she had, how many shares? She had like 67 shares on that, right? And people were tagging their friends in it down below. So if you hit the mark, you can really get out there organically. But the beauty of Facebook here, and we are not reps of Facebook. <laughs> we make no money as affiliates for Facebook. It is the lowest cost way. Think of Facebook as your low cost outreach right? And then your blog is your home base and Teamsy as your follow-up strategy, right? So if you want to get out, if you have a hard time and all the surveys that we do all throughout Beachbody in the industry, the number one issue that comes up is I don't have enough people to talk to. That should never, between the four lead booster ideas we went over from prospecting, you know, these these comment driven strategies, you know, on these funny questions, the boosting posts for your groups, and, uh, and then the last one, the whole fan prospecting with the like ads, right? And you friend people that like your page. Those are four ways. I guarantee you, you're, you are guaranteed to fill your list on Teamsy and constantly have some, somebody and people that you are following up and building the mode that Eric was talking about. If you don't, it's because you haven't tried. I guarantee you. 
Okay, I've worked with enough coaches and, and Eric's worked with enough coaches here that it, with the right plan and the right follow-up strategy, you can have a pretty successful business. Uh, let's see, there's a few more coming in here. I so I got it's kind of got two two right after one after the other that kind of go together. Eliza says I uh, loved the free trial. Love that you um, said make someone's day, which I didn't mention on this one, but I always teach it's about getting in the make someone's day mindset. When you're connecting with people, your goal is not to sign them up to join, get them on your team or get sell them psychology. It's just to make their day. You get in the make someone's day mindset, which leads us to Sharin's question, which is just connect, not invite. Now here's what I want you guys to understand. As you're building relationships, you know, it's like, it's like you meet somebody that you're attracted to and you ask them to marry you, right? That doesn't go too well most of the time. We need to connect first. We need to make their day first. Now, what we try to do is as we're having a conversation and we're forming and we're asking questions, we try to, when we talk about measuring the mo, we try to uncover if they're interested. If they're interested in learning more and we uncover that, then we invite them. Then the timing is perfect to invite them. So basically it's like we're putting everybody that we meet into our teams and we're connecting and we're building relationships. And every time we see a piece of fruit that's, that looks like it's about ready to pick, we send them our invitation and we start following up like a pro. I hope that makes, that makes sense. Wait, I got one more. Eric, when, I, when you rank those that need to go into Teamsy flow, once you change their rank, do you just set their follow-up to default to put them in the flow? But they'll stay in the tag group, correct? Yes, Angela, that is correct. So you have to take... So the ones that are interested right now, we're gonna, we're gonna set a follow-up, which puts them on our follow-up list. And the ones that aren't, we're gonna put on follow-up to default, so they just flow through the Teamsy flow. That's a great question, that's right. And they will stay in that tagged group. Okay. And Eric, uh, Shereen had uh, a couple of other questions for you over in the Q&A. <laughs> okay, great. Shereen, you're gonna, this, you're gonna be the star of the show right now. <laughs> um, she says, I love Teamsy. Thank you, we love you too. Can you explain the tags a little more, please, Eric? So a tag is just a way to categorize people in groups. So for example, I'll show you guys, I'll explain to you how I use them primarily when I was a Beachbody coach was every time I had a free group, that was a tag. So that way everyone in the free group went in the tag, was tagged. Then I could see who's in that free group. So if I wanted to message everyone in the free group on a Tuesday, I could pull that list, send them all a message. Same thing with a challenge group. Then they were in that group, they were tagged in that group. If they bought a product, a particular program, I would tag them with that. Then I knew every single person at a glance in my team who had 21 day fix. I knew who had 21 day fix. When, they, when, when Autumn comes out with a new workout program, guess who I message? Everybody who has 21 day fix. Hey, Autumn has a new program, do you wanna check it out? Are you guys with me? Now the thing that is brilliant about this is it would be so awesome if all your customers and coaches stayed for life, wouldn't it? <laughs> but they don't. However, I would say a very large majority of those people can re-engage periodically over time, which is why we want to stay in touch. Even a coach who quits still loves her 21-day fix and still wants the next program. Are you guys with me? So that's the thing you got to understand is the tags help you keep all that organized. So even if all you did was turn on your dashboard every day and work your four lists, you would win. I mean, you would build a huge business, but the tags help you go a little deeper so that you can, when we do a product launch, you know who to connect with. Does that make sense? So those are some of the things you can do with tags. Other things that you can do with tags is as you get into, as you get to know people, you can add tags like veteran or um, dog lover. Those are two groups I particularly like to connect with, right? I like to message veterans on Veterans Day. Send them a private, a personal message. Um, it's nice to put a patriotic post on your Facebook page, but it's even better to direct message people. It has an impact. It has a lingering impact because people just don't connect on a one-on-one -on -one basis anymore, right? Um, so those are different things that you can do with the tags. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I promise you guys I will do soon a full training on tags, okay, that you guys will get for free. We'll do a, we'll do a webinar on that. Um, Shireen, I'm, I'm cherry picking yours right now because do you ever do Zooms, Zooms for teams to explain how it works? Absolutely, we do, we do team calls. Probably, we probably do six or seven team calls a week, Shireen, and if you have a team and you want to do a team call, um, just send an email over to support at teamsy.com and we'll schedule it. We do, all we ask is that you get at least 25 coaches on the call 
um, and then we'll walk you through Teamsy. Um, we'll go in depth with your team. We do it all the time. Uh, I think that's it right now from Shrin. Thank you. Mike had a question, uh, the Crush It Pack. What is the monthly cost after the first month? So the monthly cost you have in there, the university and the blogging service, and the university is $26.99 a month thereafter, and the blogging service is $22.49 a month thereafter. Now, those are just, those are monthly, right? So you can cancel at any time. And I like monthly. Here's why I like monthly, because that means that I've got to prove myself every single week, <laughs> right? Every single month, right? If it's not worthwhile, you're not going to stick around. So uh, we make it worth your while and we make it extremely affordable to get all the training in the university for $26.99 and then the entire blogging service with those 50 plus pages and so much more in there, um, literally for $22.49. It's an amazing uh, opportunity. Awesome. Um, Lauren asks in the in the um, Q&A about Teamsy. Can you upload data to it when you first start? I've exported my Facebook friends to Excel. Can I ex export data? Can I upload this data to Teamsy? Okay, so absolutely you can do um, bulk exports. And we walk you through the process of getting your downline report from the coach office, put into Teamsy, it's super easy. Same thing with your customer um, report from coach online office into Teamsy and your Facebook friends. Um, your Facebook friends, you can take directly from your Facebook. You don't need to do it into Excel first. That's an extra step you don't need to do. We can bring them directly in from your Facebook export and we walk you through that too. That's kind of your first thing to set up is to get all your relationships that you have organized in one place so that you're not like going through your Facebook feed trying to figure out who to follow up with. We need to get you super mega organized first so that you can really um, leverage your time and be efficient with it, if that makes sense. Um, Susan asks... She says, I was once a Teams user. Now I now understand the value of it after trying different types of CRM. Is there a savings if I sign up for a yearly member versus monthly? I'd like to come back. Susan, we would love to have you back. And yes, there is. If you sign up as, a, as a, for a year, you do save a little bit. It's $299.88 for a 12-month membership as opposed to $29.99 a month. So you save quite a bit if you come in uh, for a year. If you, All you need to do is go to Teamsy.com, Susan, and sign in. You know, uh, message us if you don't remember your password, but sign in and it'll bring you right to the subscription page and you can set that up. Okay. Um, oh, Susan also says, uh, once my Facebook list is uploaded, do I need to manually input new contacts moving forward? Yes, you do. Absolutely. In fact, what's so cool about this is, um, now, we, we expect you to at least add three people every single day to your list. Now, if, that's a, if that seems like a lot, here's what I'm telling you guys. We built Teamsy to help you go from new coach to six figures in 12 months. Anybody sign, want to sign up for that? That's what we built it for. To do that, you need to add three people a day. Now, the cool thing is we got Steve here giving you guys easy ways to do it. Easy ways to do it. I was walking around the Under Armour store talking to, talking to people who were buying workout clothes. That's a little, it takes a little longer. I'll still get my three a day though, by the way. So you can't, you can't say going to the street doesn't work either. But the, my point is, is you need to be adding new people. So as you meet them, it's super easy. I showed you guys how easy it is to add somebody in. Um, and then you, every, if you get a little bit behind, what I used to do is I would go to my friends list on Facebook, recently added, and add everybody. And if you get way behind, then you could do another export and bulk import it. Teamsy won't duplicate the people you've imported in the past. It just adds the new people. Okay. Um, Amber says, is there a way to connect Teamsy to Facebook chat or is it only email? Um, yeah, you can't, you can't connect to Facebook Messenger because Facebook changed the rules, gosh, three or four years ago. Guys, you have to understand, Facebook was just this like social networking platform. And then they realized that it, they realized that it was going to be the most important marketing and advertising tool our society has ever seen. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, I'm telling you right now, our society, our civilization has never had a tool as effective at reaching people as Facebook. That was my dramatic pause. <laughs> okay. And I don't care. I know Snapchat's cool and Instagram, everyone's, but I'm just telling you right now, Facebook, well, Facebook owns Instagram, right? So they're the same thing. There's nothing better. There's nothing more that you can leverage easy, so easily, so cheaply. That's not always going to be the case. Right now, you guys should definitely take advantage of it. But Facebook doesn't 
it's not going to let anybody play in the sandbox. They want to rule the world. So they kicked everybody out. They kicked out everybody. We actually built Teamsy to automatically send messages through Facebook. They changed the APIs and the securities right before we launched, which is fine. Because here's what I'll tell you. Toggling over to the tab, sending the message and toggling back will take you one second. And you can still connect with more than 20 people in 30 minutes. So I always say to people who, well, and I'm not directing this to you, Amber, at all. I don't know anything about your situation. But um, so many times people have said, that's just too time consuming. And I go, are you actually connecting with anybody? Because it's amazing how time consuming something can seem when we're not doing it, right? So anyways, there's your answer. Um, that's a long story. We can't connect directly to it. Just email. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, Kiana's for you, Steve. Go for it. Uh, where's Kiana? I'm sorry. Oh, Kiana, will the university help me grow my Facebook personal page? I have been mostly on Instagram and not really growing there. I've been struggling finding my niche. So there's never been a coach we haven't been able to find a niche with. Right? So that's one of the things that I will personally help you with. Um, what I will also say is there's a ton that you can do off your personal profile. But when we talk about Facebook and the outreach, the low cost outreach, Facebook separates church and state. Personal profiles are for personal use in their mind. Business is for Facebook business pages. So all advertising, all boosted posts have to happen off of your Facebook page. So like when Eric started out TMZ, you had to start a Facebook page, right? Yep, you have to. So that's just the rules that they've established here. But believe me, everything you can do off your personal profile, you want, you can do and so much more off of your Facebook page. So we can help you grow your Facebook presence in a big, big way. Um, just a cu couple others while I, I saw while I was, uh, while I was here. Um, Amy, you said, uh, so is there customer service to speak with if we run into trouble as well as when going through the university? Absolutely. So, uh, you can go into the group and post into the group. Other coaches help other coaches all the time. I'm in there every day. My team is in there every day. We share what's working. People are sharing what's not working. And you can see what I'm, you know, how I'm helping people while they're working through their difficulties. You read questions you never even thought of to ask, and you're really glad that somebody asked that. You can email into customer service. There's never been a question that has gone unanswered. So Absolutely, 100%. Every single one of your questions gets answered personally. Um, there's one over in the chat roll here, uh, and I, I hope I pronounced this correctly. Yariella, I have a, a, a daughter that uh, is Haitian, and her name is Evelor, and nobody ever gets her name right, so hopefully I didn't butcher that. Uh, how does your blog service work? Um, are these pre written topics? What if you already have a self hosted blog? So if you've got a blog already, and it's working for you, go for it. You know, I started this with Tracy Morrow because the vast majority of coaches didn't have a blog, didn't know how to do it, and didn't have the time to keep populating with all the topics, all the workouts, you know, everything that Beachbody launches and keeps up with, right? So if you've got one, stick with it. If you want the Crush It Pack, just you get that and then just email us at customer service at practicalsocialmedia.com and we'll back out the, uh, the blog service from the Crush It Pack. So if you've got one that's working for, well for you, then no problem. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we got a lot of questions here. I would, I would probably say that uh, we're not going to be able to get through everybody's questions. There's just such a phenomenal amount of questions here. If either of us have questions that you've asked that, that we need to answer, you, you haven't, uh, what was your email again, Eric? Eric at teamsy.com. Or you can just Facebook message me. <laughs> <laughs> and send it into customer service at practicalsocialmedia.com. That'll be the fastest way. And every question that has to do with strategy or overall what's right for me or those kind of things, I will answer those personally for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for coming on the call. I know we probably blew a people, few people's minds, which is great. That's a good thing, right? We got to break, we got to break things down in order to build them up. Um, I just really want to encourage you guys all to keep, you know, one of the things we built Teamsy to help you do is this, keep your focus small so you can grow your business big. Just keep your focus small so you can build your business big. There's so many things you can do in your business. You can get overwhelmed by it. You just need to figure out what can I do right now? 
what is the one thing I can do today to help my business? And just take it one bite at a time, okay? That's how we're gonna build this business. It's basically what we can do consistently, not, not some grand thing. So if you wanna, you know, if you wanna pursue some of these things and wanna, wanna uh, you know, connect with Steve and Practical Social Media to, to learn a little bit more, awesome. If you guys were already doing great stuff, you just didn't know how to handle it in Teamsy, hopefully we helped you with that too. Again, if you guys have feedback uh, for this webinar, just let us know. You can connect with me personally. You can connect with uh, Teamsy at support at teamsy.com. I don't care how, whatever's best for you. We're here to serve you guys. So um, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Steve, do you have anything else that you want to add? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think both Eric and I have a heart for Beachbody. It's where we both started. You know, it's where my business has always been and grown. Um, I love the coaches that we work with. I have lifelong friendships that have come out of relationships with coaches. And, you know, I, I want you to take us up, particularly me, on working directly one-on-one -on -one with you. Eric, too, right? But I mean, me in terms of like practical social media, because <laughs> that sounds a little funny. Sorry, Eric. Uh, because I will work with you. you. You'll have somebody that's, you know, the president of the company that will look at what you're doing. And so I want you to take us up on that. And that's where I say me in particular. And I want you to take Eric up on, you know, everything that Teams he has. It is a one-two combination that is really going to help you in your business. You have to find more people and you've got to follow up like a pro, like Eric said. So I hope that both of us can be a big part of helping you in your business. And we're certainly glad you spent some time with us here tonight. Thank you so much, guys. We will post the recordings to our YouTube pages and also I'll make sure that everyone who registered gets a copy of gets the, the link to the recording. Thank you guys for being here. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.